What's good, everybody? It's Channel One Ants. We're here today with Malay. Hey, what's up, y'all? How was the trip coming out here to Staten Island? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was light. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much, too much traffic. And shit. That's not bad. You were coming yeah. from PA or from Brooklyn? Yeah, so no, that's coming from PA. Um, okay. I'm, I live in PA, so I. The music. I was in high school out there. I lived there for a minute. So. So you were born in uh, PA. You was pretty much raised there. Went to high school there, right? Nah, I was actually born in New York. So that wrong yeah. I was born in New York, but um, for the most part, I was raised in PA. I went to high school out there, middle school out there, like everything. So yeah. What part of New York were you coming from? Uh, Queens. Yeah. Got you. So. And you moved out there with family, or you just moved there with friends? Oh, I, my whole family. Yeah, we we and my folks know we. That's where we died. Yeah. Okay. And you started music in high school or after high school? I started music when I always done music. Like I always in church, you know, we um I was a gospel, I was younger and whatnot. Okay. And I always said I needed to do music. My my girl AGB, um, she didn't feel like you know what I'm saying. But yeah, um I always did I always seen her do music and whatnot. But I really started taking music seriously. I was in college, I went to okay. Pittsburgh actually. So I was still in PA. But um, yeah, I was there for pre med whatever. But also, so I just put poems to to music. Like, I did poetry. I started off really doing poetry. I love poetry. But um, I started off poetry, started putting it to music, putting it to beats, and seeing that okay, it's a song. So mm -hmm. I started really writing. So I always had a pen. I always had a little pen for me. But yeah, in college, I would like mess with people down there. They did music. We was really in like the cupboard of their kitchen, like <laughs> in the That's closet. Crazy, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, recording music. I still was taking it seriously for a while. I knew I really liked it. Like I knew, yeah. So, 2019, I started really hopping the studio doing music. So. Who was the people who actually put you on? Was there like any local artists, or you were just um, around? Anita, I used to see her. Or like, y'all don't know. The setup is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pillow over the or the headset of the mic and everything. But just seeing her engineer her own thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. doing that. Um, people I'm around, they was doing music, put me in the studio, stuff like that. But yeah, um, so that's I how I started. Yeah, just people around me. I always been around music. I think I always been around music. But I started to really engage with them and tap in. I knew what the studio with you and me, you know, it's mm -hmm. like that. And I just started. Oh, I know how it works now. All right. Now. Gotcha. <laughs> and I see that you're really close with AGB. She's yeah. Crazy. She told me when I was interviewing her about the story how she had to turn off headphones and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. So like, now, like you know, for me, it's just like damn, you know. Yeah, like, it's really, a struggle. Yeah, you know? and people don't people don't put respect on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's. It's, it's a lot of groundwork, a lot of things, you know, you gotta have money to invest in. It, it, it's a lot of stuff that goes into being an artist for real that people don't really like, see. Yeah, yeah, but all the, I, I take it in, like, even today, I'm, I'm recording my setup. Before we came here, we was uh, set up in her, in her living room. We were just, okay. you know, practicing, doing some rope jazz, a little setup, literally, like, you know what I'm saying? But stuff like that, I take pictures that I recorded because mm -hmm. I'm gonna look back at it when I'm, I'm up there. That's really dope. I know that you guys just went to vacation as well. You went to Miami. Oh yeah, this out there for my girl's birthday. That's that's what's what's I was in Miami with it in the end. So yeah, it was cool. And how was that? Oh, you wanted to celebrate for her birthday? She yeah, it was for her birthday. It was just a, a good break too. She mm -hmm. just yeah, but yeah, it was her birthday. It was it was real good. And yeah, that's actually come back when we yeah. start working. Yeah. You went straight after that. You went to perform at your concert. Yeah. Drewski. DJ Drewski. Drewski. Yeah, Drewski. That, was, yes. that was yesterday. Yeah. Drewski was yesterday. We had a talent show, Jay Drewski. And it was in Scranton, PA. Yeah. Um, which is probably like, I don't know, an hour 40 from here. But it, it was dope. It was cool. It was a um, good networking event. Mm -hmm. me. Uh, I had a good performance. I feel like, yeah. yeah. So, what did you meet there that you were willing to work with? Well, I seen um my hometown uh they, they came out too. Um Dala, uh he's part of Redroom actually. Uh, he has a little studio game engineer out in Shadowsburg PA. Um he actually won the contest, whatever, but it was, you know, people it's, it's good to see people actually you know, like yeah. locally win, you know, some of that were not locally in. Um, you know, shout out to PTM, they was in the building. Uh it was it was a it was dope. A lot of people sh came and showed love. It was that's cool. So I know with AGB as well, you guys started uh, your own little company, BBM. Yeah, I want to say company. It's our brand. brand. It's our brand. So BBM stands for um, Bars, Vision, and Melody. And we came up with that kind of randomly, but mm -hmm. we was around other group of artists who had names for themselves. So we were like, yo, we met each other all the time. We got to have names for each other. Like, yeah. First, it's like, I'm like, like, and you and AGB, but it's like, what are we? So yeah. it's like, I right, got to think about this shit. You got to think about this shit. Yeah, and bars, vision, melody. I need to get bars. Um, at the time, well, still, my dad vision, that's my Instagram. My mm -hmm. dad vision. Um, vision. Gotcha. <laughs> and we got the melody, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, you know, it's our brand, it's our movement, and that's just, 
Well, we stand with ourselves, like, you know, that's, that's us. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah, that. we we soon you know have like you know try to um come up with some merch ideas, some mm -hmm. like really expand us to get you know like really so brand ourselves. Yeah, another yeah. concert that I saw that you did was for a big drip day opening for Fabio Ford. Yes, yeah, that I was that come lit. <laughs> it's a crazy story about that day. First of all, it's a crazy story. Like um, <laughs> but no, <wait>, wait, wait, <laughs> it's not that crazy. But that day was crazy. It was a crazy. It was crazy as day. I was nauseous. I was. I had anxiety. It was crazy. It's my first time opening up for uh, like you know a, a big or a artist that's named for itself. You know, mm -hmm. so first time opening up in general. So um, it's my birthday, mind you, the day after. Nice. Yeah, the day of the show. So um, it was two shows in one day, and the first show on the way there on the drive there, I'm literally like puking. Like I'm literally telling like, yo, pull over, pull over. <laughs> and then uh, everyone thought I was, I didn't drink nothing, I was not late, I was not on no rock star shit, I was just nervous as hell, like, I was, yeah, I was, I was nervous. Um, so first show, I, I, I performed, but sex show was, a, was a, it was lit, it was, it was a good day, um, I met a lot of people who were fucking with me, like, my followers from them went up, it was crazy, shout out to, um, Sex TV for having me out there, it was a lit day, um, ever, ever since then, I've been doing shows, like, I probably have like 13 shows since then. Like, yeah, just you know, showcases, just people reaching out. Like, I want you to perform there. I like, reach out. Yeah, but like I've been working. Like that whole February was straight working. Like weekends, like this whole month I've been doing shows. So it's cool. It's good practice too for those big stages like yeah. Bobby. You know. That's really so. cool. Yeah. Did you have the chance to meet him or you just see? No, him? I didn't. But yeah. I seen him perform and I he. <laughs> You don't need to come and wait your shit. <laughs> but, but yeah, so, um, and I ain't get to meet him, but, mm. you know, say that, that'll come, that'll come. Yeah, I saw the video that you posted of the day that you were blogging it, and you didn't even say in your caption you had um, anxiety and all that. Like, yeah, like. You should be proud at the same time, it's, you know? When I go to certain events, it's like, um, I'm not really the most socialist person, but I'm, when people get around me, you know, I'm full of energy and whatnot, but it's just. It's kind of just like, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, when I walk outside, I just gotta ease into the day and whatnot. Plus, performing for a bit, like on stage for real, like I performed at, you know, a theater before, Sherman Theater, it's in Charlottesburg. Um, it's a big theater, like where, you know, mm -hmm. artists come there, like TJ, you know, Herbo, whatever, mm -hmm. they perform there. Um, I performed on that stage before. Um, but it's different when you open up for somebody, you gotta warm up the stage for them. Yeah, get hot. Get so down. yeah, it's a different for it's a different pressure on you, I felt like, but I thought way too much of it. It was a natural vibe. People naturally I'm big lady, you know what I'm saying? Niggas naturally fuck with me, so it was, it was cool, it was, it was dope, it was nice. That's dope. And yeah. you say you have 13 concerts coming up, or you're ready to do 13 concerts? Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah, I, I've been doing a couple, like... Which yeah. one was, like, your favorite one from your favorite They weren't concerts, they were just shows, you know, little performances, um... I don't really, each time is a different experience. I don't know if I'm gonna say I have a favorite. My favorite once a day was Fabio. <laughs> but um, even yesterday, like, fun time, like, good networking event. Like, I love performing in general. Mm -hmm. And I always learn what I could do better, how I could improve. Like, it's, it's, it's always it's always a good vibe, yeah. That's Especially when cool. other artists are in the building. That's the best part about yeah. it. Like, yeah, seeing other artists perform too. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So I know that you, the new song that you just dropped recently is On My Way. And you're talking about how you can your way into you're ready to make it out. Like I saw the uh album cover was half like a like a trenches uh, house and then like a nice mansion. Yeah, so on my way the message of that song, um, to me is just really just you on your way up, you know what I'm saying? So people who used to laugh at you and used to do certain things, like they, they gotta come correct now because so me, like on your way up, whatnot. And just like shit I've been through, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't always or even right now, it's not, you know what I'm saying, but I had to work hard to get to like where I'm at right now, and for me, so I'm still on my way up, I'm still on my way. That's, that's really cool, that's and I know you're a mom as well. Yeah, so yeah. How is that, being a mom? Yeah, my baby, okay, um, yeah. Um, you know, mom, it's, it's definitely just a lot of balance, especially with music, it's just a lot of balance, but it's obviously um, possible to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I've been coming to the, like I said, I've been to the studio. Yeah, um, I saw that. I brought like some of my showcases this month. Uh, since since he was younger, I would bring him to the studio. Like I would literally have him on like a fanny pack, be in a booth for him. Like he'd be mm -hmm. he'd be just quiet on my chest, just <laughs> sleeping, yeah, on my back, everything. But now it's getting a little harder because he's touching stuff now, so I can't even bring him to the studio like that. But I always have him around music. He loves music. It's mm -hmm. it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely lots of balance, but I don't. It's possible. A lot of people, yeah. you know, what I'm saying it's it's, it's possible. And it's it's not easy. Here. It's not easy, it's but hard, definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got, you got to make it work, but music is what I want to do, so I always make things work, you know what I'm saying, with school, anything. Do you hope to meet um, him get into music as well? Or? Uh, he, he can do what he what he feels like he want to do, whenever he want to do it, you know, but he loves, like, he has a general love of music, like, in the car crying, he was like, <laughs> yeah, and my music in general, like, I have videos of me playing a song and playing my song, he just got more hyper, like, yeah. I know he was also in the video that you made with AGB. That one was Stand My Ground. Yeah, he was had his first cameo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a video. Stand My Ground's actually out now on mm -hmm. YouTube. Follow BBM on all platforms. Well, BB, <laughs> BBM on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely got some new shit coming soon. And how did Stand My Ground come into play? Stand My Ground. How do you start writing Stand My Ground? <laughs> Stand My Ground. Um, I was in my car when I first, it was, I, I just wrote it, like, the, um, the, the hook in general. But it was kind of the back of my notes, for real. It was kind of the melody first. And then, you know, I'm HB, you know, in the car, I'm like, oh, God, this is me telling you, you got to hop on it, you got to whatever. The message to stand my ground, yeah, stand my ground is just a strong song. You know, that's why standing your ground, like, not, you know, standing for what you believe in, standing, keep, standing on your platform, like, not leaving a spot, not letting nobody take you off your pedal, nothing. Like, that's, that's, that's basically what's in my guys about, you know what I'm saying, knowing yourself, feel me, and evolving from everything, people, you know what I'm saying, to stay on your ground, that's, that's basically what it's about. Just, were you getting a lot of hate just coming up, like people from your town, or just like, general people? <laughs> like, people gonna hate, like, you know, um, from any, from from my town, from the next town, whatever town, like, it's whatever, you can be close to, can't, or, it's not about hate, so people don't support fully what you're doing, like, or they make it seem like they support whatever, but, it was it was mostly just um, you know obviously every song is not general statement it's it's like real shit you feel me definitely gonna be haters hand here but it was you know what I'm saying it's my niggas know stand my ground like regardless of what you think regardless of what you say like you know what I'm saying that so the next song that I was gonna talk about I know how you say you were into poems mentally you know. Mental I know. Funeral. I know. In the day you wrote a poem. Was that your poem that you wrote? Yeah, mental funeral. So people actually think, cause the way the symbolism is in the video, think it's about funeral. No, it's not. It's um, it's actually about a breakup. You know, mm -hmm. and about it's about basically no one talks about grieving a person who's still alive. You know, like they're a loss to you, mm -hmm. and you kind of gotta like learn how to like maneuver through life without them kind of feeling. And that's like like a loss, whatever. That's basically what it was about. Um, the poem was actually called Time, and it was about just time I can't get back, basically, you know. Um, I forgot, it was Tanya Me, I forgot what it actually stands for. But basically, you know, that's, it, it was a poem I wrote in college. That's why I was doing poetry, I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. So I was doing poetry, I was really deep in it. I was really like, in my feelings in college, I was so, I, I was finding myself. So I'm like, oh, poetry, I was good at it. Like, mm -hmm. I was putting my feelings on the paper. And that's how I started painting music, you feel me? Um, by just, was that, the, was that the first one that actually got people's attention? Yeah, that's the first one I actually got on all platforms. What's the feel? That was like 2019. Um, yeah, I did a video. I shot that in Pittsburgh before I left college. I shot that video. I made sure they for me. Get my shit. <laughs> before I left, get something out of that shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> word. Um, got my little video, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, who did you and, that, and that was um, actually a friend in college. Um, he does music himself. Okay. And... Uh, he helped me shoot the video, yeah, so. I was actually gonna ask you who was on who put uh, the video. You wanna shout his name out, or? You know, well, <laughs> really, I'm not as bad, I don't remember it. But he, yeah, he's but dope, you... though, like, he's dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, he's just good, <laughs> he's dope. He's mad, it's not really the L, though. I really, um, wish I could get that name. Uh, could you cut it out? <laughs> yeah, anything. Can I go? He'll, com he'll comment on it or anything, say, yo, my name was Bob. Oh, no, that's so bad. And I'm really like, it's just like me. That's me. I be forgetting names. But he's dope. We're actually cool. He comments so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, sure I'm having know. a brain fart. I have Monty Bear right now. Like, you're really dope. He's he been doing the same. When I get his name, yo, I'm. Yeah, we gotta plug him on real quick. We, we gonna plug him in. Cause, cause, you know so the next song that I know you also made um, a music video was Options. That was, honestly, that was fire. Bro. Thank <laughs> that was you. one of my favorite videos that I found for you. They, they told the story how. Like I guess it was like a breakup relationship, catching and cheating or anything like that, or like how yeah. Much it so, was um, the video um was most of my ideas. I incorporated the change. I incorporated you know the story plot lines, but you know cameraman I helped out with the vision, whatever. But mm -hmm. um, long story short, just basically about you know I had a man at the time and just showing him I got options. Like you think you got options, but I really got options, and you didn't even know that I, mm -hmm. I know you got options. You didn't know I got options. You know what I'm saying? That's what options is about like. 
having an option so we you don't even know I got my options, but basically the the, the thought when people watch the video, like, you're crazy. Why you have changed nah, that? I have to over exaggerate the idea. You know what I'm saying? Because my vision be my lyrics be strong, so I have to over like dramatize it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I ain't wait really time niggas. I ain't stressed about me, me and all that time. <laughs> me and everyone these things. But it was mostly just you know to um I thought we changed my life, my style, and I thought mm -hmm. but you know just change the general. I'm like I got corporate this and this and that. For that shit, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was hard. Uh, like I told you, I don't know if you saw the message when I talked to you. You gave me your name, Chloe Vibes, the, the words video. Yeah, the words was, video. Were you inspired by that? Or like... No, actually, um, I just like cinematic videos. I like videos that, you know, it's easy to stand stand in, a, um, in front of a car yeah. and be like, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? But no, to actually have a point and a story in a video, it, it brings people in more. And that's. That mm -hmm. video does a lot of attention. People are like, you know, that's a dope idea. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's cinematic. It catches your attention. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to. So that was mostly it. I knew the song has to be had to have some type of cinematic um, effect to it because um, that's just my style. Like that's just how it is. I got you. Was that your favorite video that you recorded? Or um, Stand My Ground is my yeah. favorite. It, it was fun. Okay. Like options was fun too, but Stand My Ground was fun. Like, that's my girl AGB. Like. You know what I'm saying? We have so much shit in the vault, in the tug, and we don't, you know what I'm saying? So, our first video that we got to do um, to it, our first visual, that shit was dope, yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Okay. My favorite song from the new EP, Love and Loss, well, it wasn't, it, it's not new, but it could be an EP. Love and Loss is, yeah. Yeah, my favorite song was um, Imagine That. That flow oh, was fire. Man. That was the first song I showed everyone in the group. They're like, oh, bro, like, this, this is crazy. Like, oh, this is, it is insane. Mm -hmm. How did that one come into play? Um, imagine that. Honestly, that beat is tough. Um, I found that shit. <laughs> I just started writing to it. Um, imagine that is really on some intro shit because you know it's about different topics, but it's mostly on some. I want to let niggas know, like, when you view this EP, when you hear it, like, just know I'm coming, I'm on some, fuck everybody, fuck these niggas, I'm on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that which I was on. And just like, imagine that, like, I don't take care of my son but run the street. Imagine that, like that's that's some wild shit to do. Like I can never like, like she like that, you know, just awesome. Like, imagine funny. that shit, yeah. Shout out to producer who or, made that shit. So where do you find your beats most of the time? Do you play like from producers or do they like you just find it on YouTube or beat stars? Um, yeah, they're really fucking with me. I'll be I'll be on YouTube here and there, but YouTube it's getting hard to find some good beats. They they kinda yeah. you know, so it's kinda sound like you know what you're gonna get when you press a certain beat at these times. So it's good to have um, certain producers, but I just hear a beat, bump the shit. Um, B side is cool too. I fuck with B side, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, B side is tough. Like, you have that shit just on shuffle and, and uh, an ad come up, oh, I'm getting that beat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, B side is mostly like that, but I do wanna tap in with more producers. I really do wanna, um, to my sound, because yeah, that chemistry, I could just, you know, you, you yeah. know what I got. What you got for me today? Exactly, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to hash it for myself, do some in house shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you planning on working with Conrad by any chance? Or? You know, it's crazy. When I first started music in 2019, Conrad did send me music. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he sent me, um, it's called 20 I'm gonna be by him. 20 I'm still gonna use that shit. Still, okay. <laughs> give me some time. But no, 20 is tough. Where I have, um, I have like two degrees for him that he dug in me like also he hit me up on Snapchat. Yeah. He's like, yo, you do um you do music. Like I didn't guess I went to high school and grabbed the same class and whatnot. So it was just awesome. Yo, you do music now? Oh shit, I'm it's, I'm trying beats out. Like let's let's see what's up, see what, what we can do. do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm so and it was hard and that's that was twenty nineteen. So mm -hmm. um I haven't tapped into his new shit yet, but I already know that shit is progression because he was he was nice in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, another uh, person that I know who was one that worked with you um, was Lil Lucci. Lil Lucci, so, that's not what that's gang. <laughs> before that's before gang. I, was, I, I edited this part out of the video, but he, I asked him about, like, oh, was there any music that you worked with him? And he looked straight in the camera and was like, you know what? You should ask my lady that. Uh, I'm going to this song that you said you was going to drop. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, because that's, that's his, no, see, that's his song that I'm on that he got to drop. But we got to hop in the studio, and I'm going to lie, it's, it's hard to get out with me. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna lie, it definitely is. I'll be having my own schedule, I'll be whatever. But, like, we gonna get up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, gotta, we gotta get up for a date, you know what I'm saying? It's, but it, it's love, it's all love. Like, we definitely gonna work, we know it. Like, he sent me songs, bro. Like, we sent him back and forth, we sent him back and forth. Like, yeah, we gotta work, you me? I mean, we gonna soon tap in for sure, but he showed mad love and he's Word. tough. I met him, time I met him, I met him at a, Concert Crave Showcase, um, actually, HGB won that shit first of all, yeah, okay. but yeah, it was a Concert Crave uh, Showcase, I met him, and he was 16 at the time, 16, mm -hmm. so I was like, oh shit, you that hard, you 16, perform some Joe shit, yeah. tough, 
Yeah, so, and his sound got way better since then. Like, hopped to the studio with him, like, probably like, a couple weeks after. Um, we, we got songs together. Y'all so ain't, ain't ready for that. But, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it, it was, um, that's how I met him. He, it's mad genuine love, like, since then. Like, he cool. Like, yeah. it's like, I feel like I know him for real, and we don't like him nothing. But, like, <laughs> we get on music all the time. So, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good energy. He's cool. Mm -hmm. I see what he's coming with, like. For his age, bro, it's a surprise. Exactly. I'm like, oh, yeah. Man, you're 16. Yeah. I'm like, he's going to be good. <laughs> he's going to be good. Well, sooner or yeah. later, in PA, you're going to catch his vibe, and then mm -hmm. we'll go from there. Um, Who else did you work from, like, that you have recently? Um, who have I worked with recently? Oh, I got an On My Way remix with somebody coming up. I'm showing a video to that Um, yeah. in my hometown. Um, Actually, I performed with him, so I'm going to say Dollar Baby. He actually wanted mm -hmm. to showcase last night with DJ Juski. Um, yeah, it's tough to shoot a visual for that. Um, yeah, we got that, got that coming soon. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work with more Lola, baby. Oh yes, Lola, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, I work with her on a song called "Fuck Nigga." Actually, that's that's a good ass song. She's tough, like she. I sent it to her. She she wrote that shit like. He's up, yeah. He's up. <laughs> Hopped in the studio that same day. Uh, yeah, she was also there yesterday in the performance. You know what I'm saying? It's so, uh, the way my like hometown works for real, the way it works, like people, it's so much talent at the point where at first it was like, all right, like niggas is playing, hey, niggas is, uh, uh, oh, everyone's doing music now, but now they see, <laughs> oh, no, nah, niggas is talented, niggas, and they see the people who are going viral these days, and see people who, the what they call it talent these days, now yeah. my city really does have talented people, so now it's all about networking, so I'm off networking more, um, you know what I'm saying, um, I work with a couple artists, you know what I'm saying, I work with, um, J24K, he's an artist in my city. Um, who else have I worked with? Um, who, who else? I, I, I worked with Kevin, but I just can't work on my. Amigo Luke. Amigo, that's my. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my dog for song. real. Amigo, he's so talented, whatever. Um, nobody, yeah. Um, the most of the concept that the concept was um, that I did, but you know. He told me to hop on it, hop to the stool, probably that same day, same week probably. Mm -hmm. Laid that shit down. He's a dope artist too. He got a different sound. Mm -hmm. and that's that's the thing. My my town got some di different sounds that niggas like, are not tuned into. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see that. Cause they, yeah, and it's tough. It's tough. It's gonna it's gonna blow for sure. I see PA right now. They're they're coming little by little. Like a lot yeah. of people are showing up right now. A lot of people from PA's been hitting me up to come over here and just like do a show or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool that. I'm getting love right now from PA that I'm getting here in my own city type Yeah, shit. word. It's even crazy. even me getting love from people that I like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like when I was on an artist, I wasn't networking. So I was just regular, you know what I'm saying, just in my little shell and bubble. But even going to the store, people are like, Oh, weren't you on that Fabio Flyer? It's yeah. like, oh, like that, that's that's cool. <laughs> it's not a crazy like, oh, aren't you playing your thing? No, but it's also like, yeah, girl from fire with the dressing. So it's cool, like it's it's tough, like it's a different Sometimes now I'm conscious, like I go to Walmart and try pants shit. Now it's like someone might say hi to me. Let me let me at least like do my hair. Like, let me take my scarf off or some shit. I can do too much. Let me at least look like somebody. Yes, <laughs> yes. Your future project. Like, who would you love to work in the future with? Um, like in like, my city or like someone famous or anything. Famous. famous. Somebody right now I like to work with. Um, hmm. TJ, oh TJ, I'm really with TJ because yeah, we got we gonna have a good little shit going on. Right, so TJ, I would say, um, Koi too, Koi the very hell yeah, I would definitely get some Koi. That shit go crazy. Like mm -hmm. it's not like that. Um, who else? Like, Trippy. Okay. Like these people that I really like, yeah. not even just like their music, but I really like when they I bump their songs. I have my own melodies in my head. Like nah, niggas that niggas that feature me like on that shit. <laughs> no real shit though. Like feel you know I me, mean? those people that I would like to work with like that. I feel like yo like. I can't wait to be able to like have know somebody to reach out to them for me or whatever. Like yeah, yeah something. It's never too big for me all all these things to happen, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta have to write. Were they the ones or are those people you were listening to growing up that made you wanna shape your music to that? Not at all. Um, yeah, no, no. I always grew with the times that I, I love all type you can play rock right now and I probably do the song and fuck with it like so no, um, a lot of those artists just names are new, like not new but they're like new class artists. Mm -hmm. Now I, I grew up on like well, I grew up on I grew up on Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on um R and B, like Keisha Cole, like I grew up on everything, like <laughs> feel me, so I can't really say nothing shit my music. But right now melodic rap is definitely I love the art of it. Like that's that's my style for sure. Like, cause I first, I started out singing in, in choir and church yeah. and whatnot. So it's okay, I know I can sing, okay, cool. So we put it together, 
that shit goes crazy. So I fuck with like you know Young Kale, TJ. I fuck with even Dirk, even the melodic shit. Mm -hmm. That's why we like towards my sound, PMB Rock, like shit like that. Got you. And mm -hmm. how did you get your name? Malay, well, you know what I'm saying? It's a part of my full name for me, so. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's that's how I got my name. Um, Big Lay, Cam Parker. I just feel like I'm a stepper, like. So, <laughs> my music, I always know, like, to make, like, music about me just stepping on shit. I really do what I want. Like, people who know me know I do what I want. Like, now I know arrogant shit. Yeah. And, and I am angry sometimes, but that's, like, for me, I really just, I be stepping on shit, like, for me. Like, stepping on people who did me wrong, stepping on just. Conquering shit, like for me, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Like no matter the time it takes, matter I know, like I know for me. So just I just think big, you know what I'm saying big, big, you know what I'm saying stuff. Yeah. And I know how you say you write. Do you usually write all your music down, or do you freestyle? Um, I just started for real. Um, getting into the art of um, like punching and punching and type shit. Uh, I'm still trying to master it, but for the most part, my songs come from the heart deeper when I'm writing and I'm tapped in and I'm really like, oh, feel me. But um. It depends the vibe I get in the stoop, cause I'll, I'll punch some shit in, feel me? And it'll dead me as hard, also, mm -hmm. I'm like, feel me? Like, yeah. Cause there's never some bullshit in my head, it's always yeah. some, it's always some, yeah, so. It's always something that you're going through in life. Yeah, right? exactly, you feel me? It'd be, and that's the thing too, like, music is, is good to punch in, because that's your subconscious really just uh, talking to shit, mm -hmm. like, you feel me? And that's what it is, like, you think it's some random words, but nah, like, you listen to a shit, like, that's some, that's some true shit I just said, like, right. Which one was your favorite song that you really wanted people to hear from you? Um, right now, I got a lot of shit in the tuck. Um, on my way, like I said, it's out right now. That's one of my, um, songs that I'm from, from me passionate about right now. But, now I got a star called On My Way, a song called Star. <laughs> what? I got a song called Star, you know what I'm saying? It's actually a real, uh, I have it on IG, and it's been, it's getting a lot of attention, so. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Um, I have a little song for each of the most. I have a lot of songs in the that, um, that I'm passionate about. All my songs I'm passionate about, they're my little babies, so, I mean, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, Plan them correctly, plan the drop correctly. But this year we're definitely consistent and we going crazy for sure. That's the goal. Um, and I see you're trying to blow up with your own TikTok um challenge. Yeah, TikTok is hard it for me to go in. I don't understand algorithm at all. Even Instagram now, I don't understand. But I got I gotta tap into that as an artist, you know what I'm saying? It's all things you gotta tap into as an artist, mm -hmm. not you know what I'm saying? It's not so easy to make a post and get my thousands like no, no, no. It's hard, These yeah. apps are making it hard for creators, black creators especially for me to to be seen. But um yeah, TikTok, I'm still trying to master that shit, but I have a dance on my way, I do, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually, shout out to T. Ever, she actually choreographed that dance, because gotcha. me, I, I can dance, I can do a little thing, but I ain't about to, I'm my, she's in two on TikTok, like, she's, she's mm -hmm. pop on TikTok, so it was, um, it's like an ass TikTok, but we gonna, we gonna figure that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, TikTok is tough, um, she my whole time, I asked her to, like, yo, TikTok, like, can you help me out with that shit? Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's gonna okay on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do the dance. Like if you watch this right now, go on TikTok <laughs> and learn that again. shit because it's not even hard. Like that's the crazy thing. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still learning TikTok. We 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 at work right now, so I'll definitely get the team to do it on that. Right, yeah, yeah, we got my shit something. I like you know what I'm saying, be creative with this shit. But yeah, I got my own sounds, a few sounds on there that I be trying to, you know. I'm gonna tap into whatever I buy right now. TikTok mm -hmm. is what's hot right now, shit. Who, who am I to not tap exactly. into this shit? Just yeah. try it out, you never know where it takes you. Of course, of course. Yeah. I like that. So, um, shout your, your Instagram and everything out. Let them know where we can find you, any upcoming projects and all that. Okay, um, for this interview, you could find my IG, Malay.Vision, M A L A Y dot Vision, V I S I O M, Malay.Vision. Malay on all platforms, Spotify for music, Amazon, Google, Pandora. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, Malay on everything. Um, that's about my main platforms. Right. And you can just catch some new content for me coming soon, new music, all that. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next thing for um with my leg. Thanks for having me too. No problem. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm.